What is up, guys? I'm Frankie Garcia. You might know me from Moto America King of the Baggers series. I'm building my own custom ultimate performance bagger. I'm starting with a stock 2023 Road Glide ST, and in a few short weeks, I'm gonna completely transform this thing. Today, we're installing the Screaming Eagle Olin's Remote Reservoir Rear Shocks. Stay tuned. All right, just like the name suggests, these high performance rear shocks were designed with Olin's specifically for the Screaming Eagle factory team. These are the same exact shocks on my number 14 Moto America King of the Baggers bike. I chose these because they are the most high performance shocks available for a road glide, and I definitely appreciate their performance after a long day of riding. Once these shocks are installed, I can easily make adjustments on the back of the motorcycle. If I have a passenger with me, or depending on road conditions, I can adjust the dials and instantly fine tune the performance. So I've removed the right side bag and I've put this jack under the bike to get the weight off of the shocks. And now I'm gonna remove the stock shock. So I'm just taking off this top and bottom bolt and we should be able to pull the shock right off. We're gonna wanna keep the bolts we took out as well as the washers and we're gonna end up using these on the new shocks. So in this case, because we have the fender strut, we're gonna use the long spacers, comes with long and short and we're gonna install them on the reservoir mount. We're gonna put a little bit of Loctite and we're gonna torque these down. The manual suggests that we torque these to eight foot pounds, so that is what we're gonna do. Boom. So now I'm gonna add some thread lock to these bolts and use them to install the reservoir mount. Now I'm gonna install this bracket that actually clamps around the remote reservoir onto this arm here. So we've removed the stock shock and we've applied the reservoir mount for the Olin Screaming Eagle shock. And now we're gonna put this shock on and get the reservoir in place. We're gonna use the stock bolt with the washer on the outside. And then we're gonna put a washer that comes with the kit on the inside before we install it. We've got the shocks on, the bolts are hand tight, and we're actually gonna torque them to the manufacturer's specification, which you can find in your owner's manual. So I'm just gonna tighten the reservoir mount bracket down to seven newton meters. Now we're just gonna slide this reservoir down into the mount here, and we're gonna put the bolt in and tighten that up. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna secure this hose down here with the zip tie, and then we're just gonna cut the excess off. And that's it. These are your Screaming Eagle Olin's Remote Reservoir Rear Shocks. Get your saddlebags back on and go for a ride. You may need to adjust to your preferred settings. For these and any other genuine Harley-Davidson products, visit harleydavidson.com or any authorized Harley-Davidson dealer. I'm Frankie, everybody's favorite bagger racer. Catch you on the next one.